hi all welcome to the video in this video we will look at you know uh, a general introduction to histogram based outlier scoring method which is which is the method to create anomaly score for continuous or numeric data in the last couple of videos we looked at anomalies related to cases where we only had categorical data we walked through a very simple illustration and then we developed the code in r and subsequently we took a use case or a publicly available data set in r and then we applied that model on that particular data set and then we also tried to see how does the algorithm fare when we eventually try and scale the records up to let's say 1 to 2 million records so similarly we are just moving from the categorical data and we are will now talk about how do we handle or you know how what do we consider or identify an algorithm when we are dealing with only numerical data so let's say uh, i have a data set and it has like 12 records the numbers are one uh, numbers are 1 through 10 and then there are two more numbers 100 and 120 let's say i plot these numbers on x axis uh, how do, how will they look like so the blue dots to the left hand side represents number from 1 through 10 and then the two right dots represent number 100 and 120 what do you see if i just ask you uh, is there anything that looks off in this particular representation you will definitely say that these are the two numbers to the right hand side which is 100 and 120 uh, i mean by just looking at the numbers or by just by looking at the plot you are able to understand that there is something wrong with the numbers in the right hand side but let's say if i have to you know conceptually represent something that can capture these two points i would say the numbers to the left hand side are more close to each other and the numbers to the right hand side are more sparse or more discrete or very far off from each other in the sense they are they are isolated from the rest of the data set now if, if i have to create an algorithm the first thing i would do is you know i will basically try to put these two sets of numbers into two different buckets and once you know beforehand i will also try to see how can i create these buckets and once these buckets are created we can then score them appropriately in the next video we'll look at uh, how we can bucket these numbers and how we can create scores from them and eventually we'll also look at how we can create an r algorithm or r script basically that can code uh, the entire process I hope this video was useful to you. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel.